Apparently, Cinema finally spoke when being confronted. Mm -hmm. This was the first time she actually acknowledged that a human being was speaking to her. Not her constituents, she doesn't acknowledge them. Certainly not reporters, even though she's at her place of work where part of her job is to be asked questions by reporters, except for this reporter. And what did she say? What got her to speak? Hmm. How do you, you know, provoke a reaction? How are you able to get her to acknowledge another human being asking about this incredibly important piece of legislation? Well, here's a lesson. Oh. And it went up and they went up. To, oh. to bring them back. <laughs> so we call that the Mayo Shuttle. I love it. I love it. Hi. Thank you. Hi there. Hi, Congresswoman. Um, are you gonna? Who are you gonna leave out um, for the for the Build Back Better Biden agenda? Sorry, I just I just thought that was a very fun little opening end of a joke. You know when you hear like the punchline to something, and yeah. Then you have your brain wants to try to figure out what led up to that. Right. Um, anyway, sorry, Brad. Sorry, start can... over. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And it went up. And they went up to, oh. to bring them back. <laughs> so we call that the Mayo Shuttle. I love it. I love it. Hi. Thank you. Hi there. Hi, Congresswoman. Um, are you gonna? Who are you gonna leave out? Um, for the. For the Build Back Better Biden agenda. Can you talk with us, please, today, Congresswoman? Senator. Senator Cinema, would you please tell um, the majority of Americans who support Build Back Better why you won't vote for it? Who are you going to leave behind? Seniors who need health care, folks who need housing, the climate crisis, who are you going to leave behind, Senator? So the only thing she said there, and I'm sorry, that wasn't a reporter. That was someone from Code Pink, a great activist organization. Uh, the only reason, the, the only way that you're going to get her to respond to you is to correct. No, no, no. I am not a congressperson. I'm a senator. See, that's when I would have just started listing like just different uh, things, like older person, uh, like a state senator, just like continue to like, right. egg her on that way. But See, I mean, better to talk more. They're a more mature, better person than I am. Because you know, if you're going to pull a power play like that, then no, we're going to we're going to play games. Comptroller, hello, Comptroller. Emperor, Comptroller. Emperor. <laughs> school Star. board member, Kristen Cinema. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she will correct that. But she won't say who will, who she'll leave out, and she will. But she will be leaving out many people. Yeah, uh, it's again. Um, she feels very little obligation to speak to anybody um, who's coming up to her in public. I think it's important that she constantly is made to feel uncomfortable as this negotiation process continues because she's standing in the way of helping millions upon millions and she should feel the consequences of that. But it speaks a little bit to her bizarre psychology that we've tried to unpack here on the show that that's the thing that gets her right. She's OK with stomaching people pleading with her to pass legislation that would help their lives and help her fa their family's lives. She because she's fine with that. That's all part of the game to her. But don't you dare downplay the achievement that I have of being a United States senator. You get that right. And that's what will get my goat. There's a the bad person. I think a lot of people, our people are avoiding the sort of conclusion that maybe the Arizona senator seat is haunted. And like, you know, people were wrongly condemning John McCain for being a dick for years. And really, he was like possessed by some sort of specter of dickishness. And at the moment he died, it just passed on to the next senator of Arizona. And, you know, in many ways, this is the only uh, sort of explanation that makes any kind of sense. Mm -hmm. I think that actually, I put that ahead of um, this is just some personality quirk or a black man. I think that it, it's some sort of yeah, yeah, maybe some sort of demonic spirit that's been in the Arizona deserts, and it was uncovered. Maybe I don't know how. Maybe it's we the can how it was. In yeah, she, uncovered, she, she, her office is over some sort of burial ground, Poltergeist Four. John I McCain. will say that I did, I did see something about how you know, m you know, I saw people comparing McCain and Cinema, and not the same way, obviously, with the Spectre, but um, one big difference that I saw pointed out by a number of reporters that you know. At, and this isn't this isn't to talk nicely about John McCain, obviously, but they said at least John McCain wouldn't shut up to explain his position. He'd go on all the shows <laughs> and talk and talk and talk. Cinema apparently uh, did not. Uh, the ghost of uh, the specter that haunts cinema is uh, left that part of John McCain behind, apparently. <laughs>